And today I want to talk about uh, the day that Ricardo went missing when he was nine years old. Um, for me, I was at university that day, so I was actually in South London and we live in North London, so we were on opposite sides of the city. Um, so normally what I would do would be, when I finished uni, I had plenty of time usually to uh, make it to where the after school club is. But on this day, uh, I was beginning to head home after my classes. And then I got a phone call from Maggie and told me that Jasmine had turned up without Ricardo and that they were concerned for his whereabouts. They somehow got split up. And at this point, I was just distraught. Um, I, you know, the feeling was essentially disbelief. Like I couldn't understand how it had happened. Um, and then my first thought was to, first of all, get home as fast as I could. And the other one was to sort of contact as many people that I could that were in the area at the time or in North London so that I could get them mobilised and out looking for for Ricardo. So I set about phoning my sister, her partner, my mum, um, Ricardo and Jasmine's dad, just trying to find out whoever even the neighbours, I phoned everybody I could and then I needed to try and get home myself. Um, just really I guess your mind just goes to the worst case scenario, I guess I was imagining that somebody had seen my little beautiful son and seen how vulnerable he was on the streets on his own and managed to coax him away or steal him you know I guess the worst case scenario is that somebody want, wanted to harm him I think it was um, not long before I reached home that I got the phone call from their, from their dad or from, from Maggie at WAC to let me know that, that he'd been found and he turned up at WAC and he was safe and just the, the sense of relief was was just amazing I mean all those, all your worries just fly away. So I was sitting on my bed waiting for him to come home and he just sort of ran in and ran into my arms. My little boy was safe and I just didn't really want to, didn't ever want to let him go again or out of my sight. Yeah, never wanted to let him go out of my sight again.